guys are ready for this one. Murphy's Law, what can go wrong will go wrong. And that's exactly what happened to me during my fashion week fittings and casting, everything. Hit that subscribe button for me. Fashion week is back. Jessica tries. Jessica tries. Jessica tries. Jessica tries. I always loved to play dress up from middle school. I always watched America's Next Top Model and always wanted to be on America's Next Top Model. I wanted to be on the runway. Coming up to fashion week, I had been in the gym a lot, doing yoga and running, working with a trainer in better shape. Spent many years traveling to be a part of fashion shows, seen in New York Fashion Week, Swim Week, LA Fashion Week, Miss 40 USA, Virgin Model of the Year competition that I won, and just constantly seeking a lot of work and just being more comfortable in front of the camera. I went to the first casting for LA Fashion Week at LA Fashion Week. There was a long line. Just that line alone, there had to have been at least 500 people. That doesn't even include the online submission. And then they hided everybody from a tape on the wall, made us take our shoes off. And if you weren't tall enough, then you had to go to the end of the line. So I ended up getting pushed to the end of the line after waiting for three hours in this line and almost getting up to the front to be pushed all the way to the back behind all the people who showed up super late. After being pushed to the end of the line and then waiting in that line again so it had been like four hours i get to the the door i'm like a couple people in and the main one of the main directors comes out and says everyone has to go they're cutting the line it's late it's 11 o'clock casting started at like five or six now they want to go home and they don't want to see anybody else so you can submit online like go ahead and submit online and send your professional photos in i've been told no more than yes it really happens in the industry how hard it can be um for some people to to just really have have this dream to be achievable and I sent in my best photos and I made sure that you know I added in a couple of very important facts about my modeling history just some cool facts about myself um, on my success as a model hear back from them for weeks like it had been weeks the show was like a week away and I'm thinking like maybe they just didn't want me I'm like okay first I wasn't tall enough now my resume and photos aren't good enough they're probably going through hundreds of applicants I an email stating that they have already selected all of their models for all of the shows so since i hadn't received an email regarding that i figured they didn't want me i received a text she was like hey we sent you an email please respond to it right away and i didn't have my phone on me for the first time i went and got a massage home i see this message two hours later and i'm like oh my gosh let me go check my emails sunday night 9 30 at night i get this email saying that monday is a full day of three designer fittings that they wanted me to go to. You can go to all three in one day. And I was like, three different locations. No second guessing that I was gonna go to this. When I saw this email, I knew I was selected to fit for Fashion Week, which meant I had moved on to the next spot, I had been selected. There's three steps to getting on the runway. The first one is showing up to the casting audition if you get seen, which I didn't get seen, and submitting online, which is how I got chosen. And then there's the fittings. Then you have to get past the fitting, right? Does the designer like you? Do you look good in the outfit? Then you can get to go on the runway. I went to all three in one day. Hey guys, today is the day. It's fashion week fittings and I'm super excited. I'm at the gym and I got this vlog coming to you guys. I wanna be able to show you all of the fittings that are going on today. Three of them, all in one day. Oh, let's do it. I'm gonna go get a workout. I'm gonna get my sweat on. So the address that I was given had a south in the address, which the original address doesn't have south, but it sent me to Bristol Plaza, trying to figure out where I'm going, but I found it. Hey you guys, we're leaving South Coast Plaza Mall. We just got done with fitting number one. We actually walked the runway. The dress is beautiful. I just can't wait to hit the runway again. I'm so excited. Okay, it has been a crazy day already. It's like 2.30 on my way to a fitting number two. They remember your name, that's the goal, with a smile. You're too short. We need 5'9", bleeding. I don't know what happened. <laughs> my life is a little bit of a hot mess right now.
Fitting number three done. We are at Fashion Mall, which is one of my favorite places. I cannot believe that I'm really sitting here walking into these very popular malls, very expensive items. It's so exciting because it's like, these aren't little designers anymore. These aren't unknown up and coming designers. These are designers with real shops and real malls. And I'm so excited. Oh, I just really hope I get the opportunity to actually get on the runway with these outfits. Now I tried on four outfits for this particular fitting and I'm a little bit sad that the second fitting didn't work out I'm too short. If you guys have ever watched America's Next Top Model, you know what it's like. Go sees, fittings, all of that nonsense. It's craziness. Um, and even though I was selected to do three fittings today, really how it works. So it's like you get selected for these fittings and then you go to fittings and then if the fittings don't work out, then you don't walk for them. I'm hoping they slide me into something or don't boot me because uh, that can happen to you a lot of times. They can just call you back and say, hey, like we decided to choose other models to walk for this. Step one is the casting audition. Step two is the fitting. And then if you can get past the fitting and get fitted and get into something nice, then you can walk the runway. I have been driving all day and I just want to get home and eat. I'm going to go home and that was that. What a very long day. I am starving. Let's go eat something. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video a big thumbs up. So the line did not take that long. It's beautiful. He's sitting right in front of me. All of the casting directors. And these girls are walking. They look good. So I did my walk. I walked really fast and I feel like as soon as I was walking too fast, my arms were swinging too much. It just sucks. I feel like I wish I could have gotten a second chance. Wanna try? Go try. It's worth it. You never know what they're looking for. I don't think my walk was good enough. It sucks. I just know I'm just not what they're looking for for running. There's one quote that I want to leave you guys with and it goes hand in hand so much with my experience. LA Fashion Week and the quote goes like this and this is something that I have always had close to my heart and I'm sure many of you guys know this quote. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game and that's so true because like no matter how much you strike out no matter how many times a casting director will tell you no we don't like you or not select you and you just never get selected don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game your calling is coming at some point this may not be for you but you will find what's for you and just have hope i feel like at the end of the day if you have faith in uh, what you love the universe will send it your way hey guys me here okay so i am getting ready to hit the highway i'm headed to hollywood we are going to the majestic downtown for la fashion week no i'm not walking but i did get tickets to go to the show so i'm getting ready to meet ali there she's actually calling me right now um, tonight's gonna be a long night we got rapper weed event coming up
that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up leave me some comments below let me know what jessica needs to try next i'm super excited to try so many different new things i've always wanted to just empower people to go out there and try things try things you don't ever think that you would ever try try the things that you've always wanted to try and just go try it just go do it just do it just go try you'll never get anywhere if you don't try jessica tries see you guys later bye